Evening guys. Thought I'd do a quick vlog while I get my sort of late night snack on the way. I'm just gonna cook up a few sausages because I'm getting hungry and I don't really want to piss ass around putting the oven on and I'm just gonna just throw a few handful of sausages on the jaws and cook that up. Had spaghetti earlier, again. Yum yum. The basics that isn't bad at all. Uh, the mince meat in the bolognese mm, can be a little bit grisly. Feel uh, you know you get the odd little crunchy grisly bit, but uh, apart from that, it's not too bad. I don't mind turning on a bit of gristle. You know, I've got to be, I've got to be one of the few people with Asperger's that isn't a fussy eater. I'm a fussy drinker. You know, I prefer to drink any sort of fizzy drink, really. I know I drink a lot of Coke, but uh, any fizzy drink, I'll, I prefer to drink over anything else. And there's certain things that I just don't drink. I really wish I liked coffee. I don't like coffee, not to drink, but I love the smell of coffee. Um, our local petrol station has just put a Costa coffee machine in and my god that smells lovely when you walk in there absolutely adore the smell of coffee I do but I don't like the taste unless it's like um, a creamy sweet sort of coffee I don't know like a latte or something I'd prob probably drink but uh, I couldn't drink like a black coffee like I've known some people to do Ooh. It's just too bitter. I prefer. I do actually prefer things that are sweet, sweet to taste. Well, we're not doing a car boot tomorrow, and I've just gone straight from one subject to the other. <laughs> um, there's a few, some, you know, kicked off a little bit at mums today, so they're not going to do it tomorrow, which is fine by me. I've still got a bit of change left because. I have because I sold a wheel today. Got four pounds for a second-hand wheel. <laughs> but, uh, I don't. Know, I wouldn't know what to really charge for a second-hand wheel, so that's good for me, you know. I think that was one of the wheels that was given to me anyway. Good wheel. I left the tire and the tube on it as well because I couldn't be asked to take them off. I didn't need them anyway because I've got stack of tubes in the shed. Um. Anyway, that was the same guy that came earlier in the week and asked if I had a wheel. He was a few days late, but never mind, you know, better late than never. <laughs> I'm not fussed, the wheel wasn't going to go anywhere, so he could have bloody taken another week or so if he wanted. Uh, well, as you know from the previous vid, I've got all this, um, all the cables tidied up and set up. Actually, it's that muggy tonight. I'm not too bad now, because the air seems to have cooled down a bit, but earlier this evening, it was so warm and muggy up here, I actually had to drag out my uh, desk fan. So I've got that out. Uh, I really think I'm going to have to have a tidy up tomorrow. And find something to fill in that gap. <laughs> I <laughs> seem to have run out of liquor boxes. I'm sure there was something else I had stacked up there. Oh, that's right. I'll put it on the um, shelf below those Lego bricks. Yeah, I just remembered. I should sort some out in that tub, actually. The big tub. That is actually getting full of loose Lego now. Uh, then I've got that tub there to sort through. And all sorts to do. I could do it all tomorrow. Uh, I'll take them bloody cones down out the way. Um, I've still got an issue with the gears on my Claude Butler mountain bike. Um, I think it's a problem in the shifter. I did take the cover off and spray it with some WD-40 to see if that will help. Um, 
Well, that seems to have helped a little bit. Uh, well, I am fairly certain it's the um, shifter. But I do need to do a bit more investigating to find out. Just like I said, the keys work, it's just more of a little annoyance than anything else. My um, George Foreman grill is nearly up to temperature, if it isn't already. Light them off. Yep, lights come off. We're ready. We're ready. I try not to talk while I'm rattling like these bags around because I have played back my videos and heard that it does tend to muffle out my voice. So if you wondered why I do stop talking when I'm rattling bags and playing things around, that's why. Because the mic is crap on this, basically, but what do you expect for the, <laughs> for the type of camera it is? It's, no, it's not. Well, it's a top brand for the style of camera. But it's not a proper camcorder, which is what I'm after. But, uh, might not be for another month or two, maybe a bit longer. Just depends um, how things go, really. I do want a proper camcorder. Um, one reason I started with this camera is it's because it's one, it's the only camera I've got, and two, I didn't want to go along and spend like a couple of hundred pounds on camera if I decided I didn't enjoy you know if I then later decided I didn't enjoy doing these videos or you know something like that so that would be a waste of a couple of hundred pounds so I am actually enjoying it and liking it so I'm going to go and get a better camera you know I don't do anything well I don't do anything I consider very interesting I'll just start doing these odd random vlogs. You know, maybe talking about what I've done throughout the day. Uh, which today hasn't really been a lot. Well, that wasn't exactly a small task sorting these cables though. But it's done. I've got room for one more PC to go in there. Um, which is probably going to go down there. And I've shunted my computer, pardon me, my computer desk to the right a bit more. I could actually slide it to the right about another inch, but for some reason this computer desk had actually moved to the left a few, couple of inches, and I'm not sure why. And as it just sort of worked itself that way when I pull it out to clean. Anyway, so I'm just reading something a friend has sent. I've got my um, long-term internet friend from France is coming over in August, it seems. I haven't seen him for a few years, so it's going to be exciting. I will miss him when he goes back, because I always miss him when I go he goes back. And I always end up feeling sort of depressed I suppose when he goes back but talk about. No, it's been another slow day. And aside from sorting these cables out. Oh, I did go downstairs earlier. Uh, changed the handlebars on my 1980s rally bike. I'm 
not sure what the style of that is actually called. I do believe I've got it on video on here, on my channel. If not, I'll have to do one. Uh, because the bar that came with it was meant to go with the stem that was with the bike, but because I got the bike from my mum's neighbour, um, he'd taken the stem off because it was such an unusual stem to sell on eBay, and he took the seat the seat post off, I think, again to put on eBay, and the um, cantilever brake set. So I had to replace all that, but the handlebar that came with it, because he didn't want the handlebar, was actually a smaller size than the standard size you'd get today, so it wouldn't fit in the um, stem, or the replacement stem I put in the bike. I did try some headlight, not headlights, some bicycle light bracket rubbers, you know, that go um, inside the rubber inside the rubber, around inside the bracket to sort of act as a spacer, stroke sort of grip surface. Um, yes, I am topless because it was hot warm up here this evening. Uh, but that didn't work, the handlebar started to move again, so I took that out and changed the handlebar. It's a lot more modern than I'd liked, but it's all I've got for the time being, so I whacked that on. What else did I do? Uh, tried lubricating the uh, mechanism in my gip, 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 what's a gip shifter, grip shifter on my Claude Butler, like I said it did help, but WD-40 ain't going to last long because it does tend to dry out, so no doubt I'll have to swap that at some point, not swap it, um, put some oil in it, but I just want to uh, see if it's going to work. If lubricating it would actually do anything. Uh, but I don't think I'll know until I actually ride it tomorrow. If I ride it tomorrow. Actually, I probably will ride it tomorrow, because no doubt I'll have to go to Sainsbury's when I get up in the morning. Again. Now, why don't I just get what I want the day before, when I'm over at Sainsbury's, it saves me having to get up in the morning to go to Sainsbury's. I don't think I could say Sainsbury's in one, in one sentence any more times if I tried, could I? Um, yeah, I've got you looking, hopefully, something involving my ugly mug. I just thought that'd be a change in, to uh, looking around the flat, which you've probably seen like a hundred times before now. And the mess. You know, to get to the lounge windows, I've got to sort of hop, skip, and jump over a lot of stuff. Um, a friend of mine did come over, because I did say during the week he could bring his bike back to me, and I'd uh, change the back tire for him, because it was knackered. There's a lot of perished... Um, sorry, I just want to check that the screen was still on. There's a lot of perished cracks on it and they were getting bad. Um, if, you, if you'd have pumped the tyre up too hard it would have popped. So I'll change that for him because I've got loads in the shed. So he's got one nut. Actually the tyre I put on it, it's a used tyre because it came off a bike I scrapped, but it's still got all the little ears that are left on a tyre when they come out of the factory and the tread doesn't actually look like it's been used that much. I was uh, quite surprised. He's got virtually a new tyre on his bike. But that's just the first one. I, it was still on the wheel, so it was just the first one I grabbed out of the shed. So I didn't want to go digging and delving because it was getting quite late. So he's now happy. He's got another tyre on the back of his bike. Because he goes on a lot of bike rides, so he does need something semi-reliable. Um, I've got a ladybird flying around my life. There's a lot of ladybirds. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up flying around. Mm. Hang on. Yeah, that is.
is definitely a ladybird. Uh, I think in America, you Americans call them a ladybug. If I remember correctly. Of course, they must go underneath the light fit and know. I don't know why, every year I get ladybirds in here. I get all sorts in here. I've had maybugs, or mayflies, moths, wasps. Oh, I hate wasps. That's the only time I actually use my fly spray, is when I get a wasp in here. I've been stung before, and it's not pleasant. And actually, being stung by a wasp did scare me a little bit, because I know mum's got a serious allergy to wasp stings and as that was my first sting I didn't know if I'd sort of inherited that allergy if you can even inherit allergies I don't know, I'm not a doctor <laughs> but uh, I wasn't sure if I had an allergy so I haven't um, the only reason it stung me is because you know I had my French buddy over he was sleeping in this bed and I was curled up on the floor in the lounge because I'm like, nice like that and uh, I didn't know a wasp had gotten in between my bedding so I just laid in there, rolled over, laid on it and it decided to sting me right on the bed that well, to me it didn't feel as bad as a lot of people said it does but that's just me. Perhaps I've got a high tolerance to stings, because stings don't usually bother me. Any sort of sting. Um, aches. I can't stand aches. But stings don't seem to bother me that much. Oh, well, he's come out of his, uh... He's sitting on top of the tube now. In the life. <laughs> it's the noise that irritates you. I think a lot of people would agree it's the noise of them hitting the light tube or the light bulb that bloody annoy the crap out of you. Back to the kitchen. Back to the kitchen. I've just realised I need a clean plate. need a fresh bit of tape on this camera because I keep coming unstuck. Maybe I need to actually clean the plastic. It might stick a bit better. Right. Put that under there. Uh, I can't find the friggin' knife I want. Because them, them Sainsbury's basic sausages don't like to cut with just any old knife. And I've got to use a sharp one. The problem is, the knife I like to use, I can't actually find. It's done a disappearing act. Um, I've got two clean ones there, I'll try those I think. Turning the tap on to wash the plate would actually help, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Dumbass. How are we sizzling? We're getting there. We are getting there. I have weird diets with them. I'm just eating a plate of sausages. I'll do something like this. I've even been known to cook chips for breakfast. Because I'm not one that likes to adhere to the sort of social stereotypes either. If I fancy eating something like chips for breakfast, I'll eat chips for breakfast. If I fancy cooking up like a plate of sausages like I am now, then I'll just cook up a plate of sausages. I'm not one that likes to be normal. Well, I'm not normal, you know, I've got Asperger's. That makes me abnormal. That makes me a pain in the ass at times as well, but... You know, if I ever am a pain in the ass, I hope people will tell me. Because... Even though I've got... Technically, I don't know whether if you'd class it as a mental disorder or... A learning disorder or whatever you'd class Asperger's as... But uh, it's not an excuse for my behaviour. You know, I'm not just going to go off and do something and then turn around and say, oh, well, I've got Asperger's, it's not my fault. Mm. No. I'm responsible for my actions regardless. And unlike a lot of people out there, I like to take responsibility for my actions. 
So if something is my fault, I will admit it. No, I'm not one of these people that would uh, make up every excuse under the sun to try and get out of an hour speeding ticket or something. You know, if I was driving a car and I got caught for speeding, I'd take the fine. So it'd be my bloody fault. Shouldn't have been speeding. Anyway, I'm going to end this little vlog here so I can get on cooking and whatnot. So, uh, thanks for watching and thumbs up if you want to thumb up the video and thumbs down if you want to thumb it down. It's up to you. You know, you know it's the option is there, it's your choice, you do what you like. So, uh, I guess I'll talk to you in the next video tomorrow morning. So, bye for now.